Hi everyone, this is YML and today we are going to talk about term frequency inverse document frequency or TFIDF for short. This is a quite popular algorithm in natural language processing that it used for extracting features from text. TFIDF is a bag of word like algorithm where you compute a vectorized feature for each document in your corpus based on the words found there. Also, this algorithm is called bag-like because the order of the words in a sentence does not matter, which if you ask me is quite important because the order may contain valuable syntactic and semantic information. So, for example, if you have the following three documents, the TFIDF algorithm will compute a vector for each of the three and each document will contain a numerical value for each word found in the corpus like cat, house, dogs, friends and so on. And the first part in the TF algorithm is to compute the term frequency of each word found in the document. And you can do that using the following formula. So we have the TF, the term frequency of your term in the document. And on top, you have the frequency of the term in the document uh, divided by the sum of all the words found in that document. And if we apply this formula, we obtain the following values for the term frequency of our first document. So, for instance, for the word D, it is found twice in our document, once here and once here. So, the value of the numerator is equal to 2, and we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 words in the document, so the value of our denominator is equal to 6. And if we divide these two values, we obtain 0.333. And let's compute this value once more for instance for the word cats. Cats appears only once in our document, so the value of the numerator is equal to 1. And again, the value of our denominator is equal to 6. And when we divide these two values, we obtain 0 0.66. And we do this uh, algorithm for all the words in the document like are in and house for the first document. But we also compute the values for the words that are found in other documents, like dogs, outside, and so on. But do these words, we assign the value zero over here because these words are not found in our document. And if you look at the formula, then the numerator would be equal to zero. So automatically this value will be also equal to zero. And we can apply the same formula to obtain the vector for the second document and again for the third document. So after we compute the term frequency, we obtain three vectors, one for each document, which represents how often a word in uh, our corpus is found inside that document divided by the total numbers of words inside the document. The second part of the TFIDF is the inverse document frequency. And here we look globally at how often a word is found in the documents. So what we have here in IDF, it takes as input the term T, capital D, and this D is different from the one used in the term frequency formula. Here D represents all the documents in our corpus and represents the total number of documents. And here on the denominator, we compute a set of documents. So D in all our documents that have the property that they contain the term T. And finally, we compute here the cardinal of that set. So basically what happens here in the dominator is that we compute the total number of documents that contain the term T. And finally, we apply the logarithm here. I believe that this is applied because 
if the number of documents is very big, then the IDF term also becomes very big and the low algorithm is applied in order to obtain a more reasonable value over here. And now let's see how the IDF computes the value for the words using the documents from our previous example. So these are basically the values of computed by the IDF for the first document. So for the here, this is a very interesting case because the appears twice here. But because the appears also in the second document and also in the third document, we basically have here the logarithm of three. So the total number of documents over how often or in how many documents this word appears. And we saw that it appears in three documents. So we have logarithm of three over three, which is equal to logarithm of one, which is equal to zero. And also let's try to compute it for the word cats. So we have here logarithm of three over and the word cats appear once here and once in the last document. So we have logarithm of three over two, which is approximately equal to 0.176. And we can apply the IDF formula to compute the IDF value for the rest of the word found inside the first document. And also the vectors for the second document and also for the third document. And now let's try to get a better understanding of what the IDF part does in our algorithm. So basically it tries to put more emphasis on the words that are less frequent in our documents. So basically let's look at the word here the. So it appears in all the three documents and uh, as a result, it gets the minimum value possible, which is a value of zero. Uh, on the other side, we have the words outside and friends, which gets like a very high value in our ITF vectors of 0.477. And they get this value because they appear only once in our documents. Outside appears only once in the second document and also friends appears only once in the third document. And now we can compute the TFID vectors by taking the turn frequency vectors and multiplying them with the IDF vectors. And this way of computing the document feature is very powerful because what you are looking for are words that have both a high frequency inside the document and that are not found that often in other documents. And I hope that you can guess by now that this is a very powerful thing in things like information extraction because it allows you to search for more relevant documents given some keywords or queries. As always, I hope that you found this explanation of TFIDF useful. And if you did, please leave a like to this video. And until next time, I hope that you have a great time. So yeah, see you.